Hello, my name is Ness Tilson. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use our Quick Design Hardware Libraries. To show the Quick Design Hardware Libraries, you go to Libraries, Fittings. In the Quick Design Libraries, we have set up two types of hardware. Classical hardware that has fixed characteristics and is usually defined by the hardware manufacturer. For example, a Bloom hinge. The position of all the holes is actually defined by the characteristics that are given out by Bloom. The second type of hardware are what we call variable quick design hardware. These hardware elements are named starting with a zero and a dash. For instance, 0-DAO 010 means Quick Design DAO reference 010. To show you how to use the Quick Design hardware, let's set up a cabinet and apply some hardware to it. Here we have a cabinet with no hardware. If I explode it, I can see that all the panels are just butt jointed up against one another. Let's select the top and in its properties menu, select its link to one of the sides. I'm going to set up hardware to link the top to the left and right side. With the left side selected, I'm going to click plus and add a zero down number 10, which is a quick design hardware. In the rule, I'm going to select a rule, just a standard rule, 202120, meaning that there'll be a dowel starting at 20 millimeters from each side of the panel and separated by 120 millimeters. I'm going to select now the link to the top to the right side and add an, an, another type of hardware. I'm going to add this time a fixed hardware, not a quick design hardware. Let's take a dowel of 8035 2016, meaning that there's a dowel diameter 8, 35 millimeters long, 20 millimeters into the underpassing board, and 16 millimeters into the overpassing board. And let's apply the same rule as we had for the other dowels. And when I click OK, Polyboard has set up the dowels. And if I look in 3D and in transparent mode, we can see clearly the position of the dowels. Now the top of my cabinet is in 19 millimeters. Let's change the top of our cabinet into a 16 millimeter panel. To do this, I'm going to use my Quick Design Libraries. Go into my Libraries, Panels, Materials. My Quick Design top here is in 19 millimeters. Let's change it to 16 millimeters. We can see now that the dowels are actually showing through the top because the penetration into the top is actually 16 millimeters. Let's change the dowel drilling depth into the top so that the dowels do not go through the top. Let's go to Libraries, Fittings Links. I know that on the left-hand side of my cabinet, I've used Quick Design Dowel number 10. If I select it, I can see its characteristics and I can see the drilling depth in the overpassing panel. Let's change this drilling depth from 16 to 12 millimeters. We can see now that Polyboard has updated the drilling depth of all the Quick Design Dowels on the left side of my panel. Whereas on the right-hand side, the fixed dowels have remained the same. It's possible to change all the characteristics of quick design hardware fittings according to the circumstances. For instance, if I increase the thickness of my sides to 38 millimeters, I take sides. I may now wish to have the dowels increased to 10 millimeter. To do this, I go to libraries, fittings, zero dowel 10. I select both panels by pressing the control key. And in the diameter, I change what is now six to 10. The dowels have now been increased to 10 millimeter dowels. So you can see that using quick design hardware, it's easy to change all the characteristics of the hardware throughout a cabinet or a project according to the way the design evolves.